did you know that one third of consumers trust food brands only? And that 75% of consumers would actually switch to another brand if they provide more in-depth information about their product. If you think about the list of food scandals that happened over the past decade, that stat isn't that surprising. We had the 2013 horse meat scandal in Europe and we had more recently the salmonella scandal which has led to the withdrawal of 12 million boxes of powdered baby milk from over 80 countries. In both cases, the transparency throughout the supply chain was limited and the ability to locate contaminated product quickly was close to nil. If you think about it, isn't it incredible that we can find pictures of the latest rover on planet Mars, but close to nothing on the food we eat and consume every day? We live in a society and a world where we are fed with data and information. And whether we trust it or not, we all tend to rely on that information throughout our lives to make our decision, from the simplest to the most important one. This was thanks to technology and to the internet, which has made information and knowledge more accessible and available. This technological breakthrough has led to a reshaping of our society and economy, from how we transact goods and services with e-commerce to how we communicate information with social media. If you were to look for any information, what you would do is take out your phone and look through the web, right? But can you actually trust what you find and read. On the food we eat, you could say that they are labels, but do you trust them? Only one third of consumers actually trust food brands according to the Food Market Institute. On the news you read, we are constantly flooded with fake news. According to a study from the Lloyd's Register Foundation, based on 150,000 interviews in over 100 countries, it has been found that two thirds of internet users actually perceive fake news and false information as being their biggest concern. And that stat goes above 80% in some countries. Trusted and reliable information has more power than we can imagine for all the decisions we make throughout our lives. But unfortunately, we're not equal in accessing it. Let me share with you a personal story. Since I was a teenager, I always dreamed about becoming a scientist, working in pharmaceutical research to support drug discovery. The reason was simple. My younger sister has had a genetic disease since her birth, and naively, I wanted to cure her. The support and resources because of the rarity of her disease was very limited, but I wanted this to change. So I started to look for information on how to become a scientist, what studies I needed to do, which university I should go to. Sounds simple? Actually, it was a lot harder than you think. One, we were in the 90s, in the early days of the internet, with no smartphones, no breadth of information in the web, and for many years, no even access to the web. And two, growing up in one of the most disadvantaged and poorest part of France, in Saint-Saint-Denis, meant that access to information was even harder to get. My parents nor their friends went to university and were not familiar with higher education, so unfortunately couldn't help. They wanted to, but they couldn't. With this in mind, I can tell you that it wasn't obvious for me to believe in myself and to think that one day I would be in a position to cure her. I didn't know what to do or even where to start, I felt even more powerless. But despite all of this, what my parents did back then changed my life. They sacrificed everything they had to invest in my education so that I can get access to knowledge. Long story short, I did study natural sciences. I worked in biophysics research, but I decided to move on the investment side in order to invest in people with the ambition to make our world a better place. Education gave me trustworthy knowledge. 
Knowledge and hard work gave me access to great universities, and great universities gave me exposure to inspiring people who gave me invaluable support and advice. Access to trusted information and exposure to inspiring people has not only been my passport to a better life, but placed me in a position to have an impact. Trust, the key element here is trust. My parents did trust the educational system. Knowledge came from trusted organization and advice and support came from people I trusted. When information comes with trust, it can be a powerful catalyst for change. It certainly was for me. Data and information have become widely available thanks to the web, thanks to technology. I think that realistically speaking, some of the challenges that I had faced when I was younger in accessing information has been partly addressed by technology today. The web has somehow democratized access to knowledge and information. However, what makes data and information valuable and impactful remains, in my view, the trust embedded in them. And this is the foundation of the investment fund I co-founded, Leadbug Partners, to invest in data-driven startup that leverages blockchain technology. The thesis is simple. Our society and economy are fed with data that keeps on growing. And our view is that it is becoming essential to secure and process that data, to refine it into a trustworthy source of information that can positively impact our society and economy. I believe in the power of blockchain and technology to make our society and businesses more transparent, more equitable, and more sustainable. But let's pause here for a second to define what a blockchain is. A blockchain is a type of database that is decentralized, distributed, and immutable. What that means is that when information is recorded on the blockchain on that database, it cannot be modified or deleted, and a full audit trail of information is maintained and can be shared. Challenges in the food industry were the first my team and I wanted to address, where transparency is lacking, where information is missing, but demand is growing exponentially because we as consumers, as parents, are becoming increasingly sensible to where and how our food is being produced, but also the implication for our planet. Taking the example of farmers and producers, I believe that they are at the earth, at the center of food quality. But unfortunately, for some of the ones that produce high quality products sustainably, they often struggle to differentiate themselves. We as consumers have the power to drive change. And this starts with trusted and reliable information. Again, isn't it incredible to think that we can find the latest picture of the rover on planet Mars on a regular basis, but can't find much information about the food we eat and consume every day. We are even left with no transparency or little information that isn't trustworthy. Probably a reason why, as consumers, we decided to shift local, driven by the trust we embed in producers that we interact with in local markets, but also our desire to reward their work. So how do we tackle those challenges? With greater transparency and trustworthy information to start with. To support local farmers and producers, we invested in a food tech company called Direct Market, which has built a marketplace that enables food retailers to source product locally and meet growing consumer demand for fresh, local, and quality products. With Direct Market, the salad you buy at the retail store only travels 39.8 kilometers versus 2,000 kilometers on average. And the transparency on the local origin of your product and the fair remuneration of farmers are being secured and shared to us consumers thanks to the blockchain. Challenges around food transparency and control are also one that we tackle with our fund with another company called Connecting Food which has built an innovative solution to track and digitally audit in real time food supply chain. From the farm to the end consumer, information 
of our food at every single step throughout the supply chain are being tracked and recorded on the blockchain, creating a trustworthy source of information that can be shared to us consumers. In both cases, blockchain technology is only the tech enabler. Refining existing data into a trustworthy source of information made available and accessible to anyone with a simple QR code on the product pack. As often in life, from the simplest decision we make on which food we eat and buy, to more important life decision, all our decisions tend to rely on trusted information from various sources, the web, our families, our friends. And increasingly, we as individuals and consumers have the desire to make sustainable choices, but often don't know how. We are fed with data and information on a constant basis, and this is part of our life. And whether we trust it or not, we all tend to depend on those information for some, if not all, the decisions we make and take. Access to trusted and reliable information has more power than we can imagine. And I believe that we will be in a position to make our own informed decision, value products with practices we believe in, and drive change in our society with those trusted and reliable information. While I do not view blockchain technology as being a magical solution, I think that this technology will be a catalyst for individuals, for corporates, for governments to rethink how they operate and behave to make our society and future more sustainable and equitable. We all have a responsibility in reshaping and reimagining our world, and this starts with trust. Thank you.